keep you updated on the capital and financial markets, here is a recap of what happened. Thailand's securities regulator is proposing new rules to help stimulate the crypto market, including raising the 300,000 baht limit for retail investments in initial coin offerings backed by real estate and infrastructure assets. The Securities Exchange and Commission, Thailand did not specify the new limit in a statement outlining its proposals. The regulator also wants to ensure that directors, executives and major shareholders of digital asset businesses have clean track records. It is proposing that they do not hold the same positions in any company that has been denied a license or has had its license revoked. They should also not have participated or supported wrongdoings by companies involved in the securities, futures, or digital asset business. In a bid to have a strongly functioning stock exchange, the Sri Lanka Securities and Exchange Commission called on the auditors to step up efforts to ensure improved accuracy of financial reports and compliance of listed companies, market institutions and intermediaries. With the new SEC Act classifying auditors as supplementary service providers, the capital market regulator pointed out the expanded scope of the role would help build trust and confidence of investors in the capital market. In order to establish a fair, orderly and transparent capital market, it is important that the whole gamut of companies' governance and risk management structures and processes are rigorously audited. The U.S. State's Securities and Exchange Commission's Office of Investor Education and Advocacy has announced that the theme for April's National Financial Capability Month is Investing for Everyone, which will include a review of the risks of cryptocurrency investing. The announcement from the OIEA indicates that the SEC leadership and staff will host a series of investor education events across the country, targeting various audiences, including students, underrepresented communities, older investors, and the military. Investors turn to our capital markets every day, whether to grow a nest egg, plan for retirement, save for an education, or prepare for the inevitable bumps along the way, said Chair Gary Gensler. To be an informed investor is to be a more effective investor, and I encourage the public to take advantage of the many resources we offer on Investor.gov. A total of 500 victims who have lost nearly 1 million ringgit to scammers running bogus investment schemes submitted a report of their complaints to the Malaysian Securities Commission for it to investigate the companies suspected of committing criminal breach of trust and defrauding people. Representing the victims, Malaysian International Humanitarian Organization Secretary General Datuk Hishamuddin Hashim said that several investment companies had lured the public by offering investment schemes promising them lucrative dividend rates and returns. He said the companies also used the names of famous figures, the royals, former government officials and religious figures who are not involved in the schemes. Victims invested 100,000, 250,000 to millions of ringgit. Most of them used their retirement money and savings to invest, he told reporters after submitting the report to the SC. A Chinese financial regulator has expressed interest in using artificial intelligence in monetary policy, after ChatGPT, an AI chatbot, triggered investment interest and promises of public support in the world's number two economy. Lu Lei, deputy head of the State Administration of Foreign Exchange, the country's foreign exchange regulator, said technology like ChatGPT could lead the digital revolution over the next 10 years. If we use the ideas of generative AI to study financial issues, it may help form an effective technical route for financial development and governance, he said. The latest e-zine is now available for download at FIMM's official website. This edition features articles on the usage of social media for investment marketing, an introduction to vulnerable investors as well as the recent Global Money Week. Download your copy today and stay informed about the latest developments in the industry. This has been the FIMM TV Weekly Recap. Be informed, stay updated. Be sure to like, share and subscribe.